I'm here at Blenheim Palace because 2016 marks the 300th anniversary of Lancelot Capability Brown, who is really the man behind England's green and pleasant land. He's a landscape designer that's working during the 18th century at a prodigious scale and at over 240 different locations. Capability Brown is the, is the genius behind some of those instantaneously recognisable country houses. Not only Blenheim over my shoulder, but also Chatsworth, Stowe, and familiar to a global audience of billions is of course Highclere Castle, better known as Downton Abbey. In Oxford, we're contributing to a heritage lottery funded uh, tercentenary anniversary celebration. We've got a lovely exhibition that I've co-curated at the Bodleian Library with my colleague Emily Knight, which is called The English Garden Views and Visitors, and it cherry picks some of the real highlights from our collections. And as well as that, we're also throwing a few intellectual hand grenades into the proceedings to really ask some fundamental questions about why are we celebrating Capability Brown in 2016? What relevance does an 18th century designer of grand aristocratic landscapes have to the 21st century? The other aspect to Capability Brown's life and career that I've found especially fascinating during my research is the extent to which he's really an entrepreneurial icon. He's the sort of James Dyson or the Richard Branson of his day because he creates a fantastic product that pretty much all of the aristocracy want to buy into. And where Brown is so successful is that he creates a brand around himself. He's the man that will come up and say, your landscape, sir, or lord or lady has great capabilities. I can do something really spectacular with it. What I hope happens is that the great British public realise that some of these landscapes out here are actually man-made. Capability Brown is at his most successful where actually he's forgotten because people think nature herself did the work. Mm -hmm.